And it's now time for Tech Central right here on Morning Express, where we look at technology and how it helps us every single day. Now, one of the areas that has been a challenge is, uh, well, the batteries of mobile phones. You'll agree with me that you buy a phone, then on top of that, you need to buy, uh, well, a power pack, which you carry around. It's like you're, you're having two cell phones, which you really don't need to buy. And some of them come very bulky. Some are also extremely dangerous because they can blow up. But anyway, that's what we're going to be discussing this morning. And I'll first of all start by introducing George Ouma. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Thank you. And George is uh, the founder of Amor Technologies. And well, he has found the gap and taken advantage of the gap. But before we have that conversation, let's start off first of all with a video that just gives us an idea of what we're going to be talking about. Well, there you go. And I'll mention right now, because we have an award here, he's an award-winning gentleman. And uh, this is the Institute of Engineers of Kenya Appreciation. Tell me a little bit about this award before we talk about the technology that you've come up with. So IK in 2014, they organized the student competition whereby university, all universities to participate, mm -hmm. engineering students to showcase their talents, their work, at, at, at university. Mm -hmm. So, we, a number of us went there. I participated. I went with the outer run device and we, 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 we demonstrated. So, after that, I went with the outer run device. Mm -hmm. This is a device whereby you don't need to charge your phone. Once you are using your phone, it charges. Okay. Now, uh, so, just to fully understand, and I read a little bit of a brief of what it does, is that the more you use your phone, the more it gets charged. Yeah, all the activities you do in your phone. Whether it is uh, calling, calling, texting, texting, WhatsApp. Even playing games. Even playing games. The yeah. more you use it, the more it charges. Yeah, just, I think that just like one... an automobile. Okay. Like a car. Inside right. the car, we have a battery. Yes, There's which is charged by day. the alternator. Yeah. Okay. So the same can apply to the mobile phone. Mm -hmm. The only input to the mobile phone or tablet will be the signal from the BTS, the booster. That will act as a And the BTS here fuel. is what? The one that gives you the, 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 signal. the signal yeah. for you to be connected. So that is the fuel for this outer run device. I think that sounds brilliant. How does it work? So using all the activities, mm -hmm. when you are doing these activities, there's something that is happening. Mm -hmm. I want to go deep about it mm -hmm. because it's more of engineering. Okay. So these things that you are doing, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm taking advantage of them and converting them to electrical energy. Okay. But challenge was to get enough energy to charge the device. Mm -hmm. So I had to modify. I had to. I started these things, these things so long ago mm -hmm. because I, I couldn't manage to get enough charge because for your phone mm -hmm. it charges with the five volts mm -hmm. and maybe one ampere. Mm -hmm. To get five watts, that is five watts power. To get that one from the activities, it's very difficult. So I had to modify the device, mm -hmm. as you can see, and I scaled it down, although it is okay, not yet. Let me just hold this up here so that uh, those at home can see. Yeah. Uh, and this is now just your normal tablet. Yeah, this is the normal tablet. No, and this nothing, is the device. This is the device. Yeah. And the device here is uh, what, what, what uh, as you can see at home, uh, there's just some contraptions there. I'm just waiting for you to see that so that we can uh, get a clear picture. And uh, it's around about there. Okay, there you go. So basically, this is just your normal tablet. And you have this here, which you've attached. Yes. What is this? That is the outer run device. Outer run device. Yeah. And this cable just comes to where you normally mm, charge. Yeah. Okay. So it's a wireless device. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do any connection mm -hmm. apart from the charging port. So okay. once you're using your, your device, voice mm -hmm. call, mm -hmm. all the activities, voice call, messaging, chatting, browsing, 
big charges. Okay. So now, I just want to understand this a little bit, because from where I'm seeing it here, yeah. it's just some wires that you've attached to the back here. Yeah, there's an electrical circuit here. Oh, inside composed that. Composed of capacitors, transistors, mm -hmm. resistors, etc. Okay. Yeah. So where is this getting its energy from? From the activities. Yeah. So whether I'm texting, whether I'm calling, calling whatever yeah. I'm doing, it can, supplies energy to that. can demonstrate. Okay. You can call. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to try a demonstration here. And, uh, okay. Let's call that number. All right. Uh, then, and the number we Look at the battery. Now, I'll have to see this for you because, well, I'm not sure you can see the battery right there. I'm not sure we can get, uh, let me see if we can zoom in on that. And uh, there you have it. We'll see whether the light will allow us. I want you to see the battery so that when I call, you'll be able to tell that it's actually charging or not. And I will call that number, hoping that the person I'm calling will not pick. Uh, charger connected is what it says right there. Not sure you can read that at home. And it is actually charging. Amazing. Wow, okay. Um, now, um, meaning the more that I talk on my phone... The more it charges. The more it charges. So if you're using your phone, if, 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 if your phone stays alive mm -hmm. and you, you are using it to do all the activities, the daily activities, you find that at the end of the day, you don't need the charger. Because technology is changing, we don't need to, we don't need to, to walk around with the chargers. Mobile phone companies don't need to sell phone with a big box whereby we have charger. Mm. They can just sell you a device, just like okay. that. Yeah. Now, this device, you have developed this on your own? Yeah. As, 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 a, as an engineer? Yes. All right. And uh, what would generally be the cost of this now? Because the other thing, obviously, that one needs to consider is the cost. Because you'll find that uh, the, the, the power packs that people carry around yeah. are fairly affordable yeah. compared to a phone. Yeah. So to develop this, it will cost around <coughs> 3000 mm -hmm. But this one depends with the mobile phone. Because we have Sony, iPhones, Huawei. Mm -hmm. So I can't say that the same device will apply in Sony and will apply in iPhone because of the power output. So if I design, if, if you give me your phone, let's say it's, it's Xperia mm -hmm. Z, I'll design specifically for Xperia Z depending on the space inside and the power it consumes. Wow. Yeah. And how long does it take you to develop this for, for, for each phone? Three days. Three days. Yeah. And we are located done. at Ngara, mm -hmm. Amo Technologies. Mm -hmm. So they develop. Now, how, how long have you tried this particular system? It's quite, quite a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's almost a, a year now. That you've been using this? Yeah. And so, if this be the case, do you ever get to a point where you need to charge your phone? No. Unless you're you not have no using activity. The, yeah. So, for you, you don't, you don't actually another, charge? Another advantage, mm -hmm. if this, these tablets went flat, Mm -hmm. Let's say you, you have not been using it, mm -hmm. then it, it goes flat. Mm -hmm. So what you'll do, you can use another phone to charge this tablet by just placing it on top of it and you continue. <laughs> okay, now when you place it on top, do you need to connect this to the other phone? No, it's a wireless device. So you just place this one on top here mm -hmm. and you do the activity. So if I place this on top now, will it charge? Because you see now, uh, it, it will not charge because looking at this one, the design here, mm -hmm. the way the position mm -hmm. will not, I have to get a good position mm -hmm. and also you can see the thickness. Yeah. Uh, you, you have to place the position so that? You have to, you have to place it a better position. Mm -hmm. Let's say if this one, mm -hmm. I have to know specification of this phone, mm -hmm. I have to know where the antenna is. So in other words, you also yeah. have to develop that uh, yeah, yeah. uniquely. Yeah. If, if I place this on this, it will not charge. It will not charge because mm -hmm. You see, for this one, I have to, I have to study this one first be okay. before I can make sure I, can, I you place, place it, it on this. Charger. Okay. Because this one is specifically for this tablet. Mm -hmm. So I have, to make, I have to adjust this one mm -hmm. to give out the power for the tablet. For this one. Yeah. All right. And uh, normally we ask whether it's a hit or a miss, but I know this is already a hit for a uh, majority of the people <laughs> watching. And the uh, question is, you mentioned that you've tried this for a while. And has it ever let you down? What are the, some of the challenges maybe that you faced with it? Because I'm, I'm thinking of a situation where we are using mobile phone so often 
yeah. that uh, definitely one would now literally forget about your charger, your, your normal charger. Yeah, the challenge is, you see, in Kenya we don't have machineries. I, I should have scaled this one to be a, to be a very small device, mm -hmm. but we don't have the machineries to do that. We have to go to China, we have to go where. So those are the challenges. But I can't go to China just to scale this one. Mm -hmm. I have to get the machinery because I know what I'm building. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in Kenya, most of the time when you are developing, when you are innovating, there's no government support. Mm -hmm. There's no, nobody will support you. Mm -hmm. But the, the people who call themselves investors in quotes, they just want to take over the your innovation. Have you, have yeah. you copyrighted your innovation so yeah, far? Yeah, it's copyrighted. It is copyrighted. Yeah. Do you have a name for it? Yeah, it's outer run device. Outer run device. Yeah. Okay, and are you looking at producing them in mass at some point? Yeah. That what is has where, stopped you from doing that so far? That's, that is in, in plan. By mm -hmm. next year, mm -hmm. uh, you, should, uh, you, should, you should have get this thing in the market. In the market. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking that it's such a brilliant idea. I'm, not, I, I'm trying to understand why you're not producing them already. What is stopping mm -hmm. you? The scaling, the challenges for scaling the device. Mm -hmm. to, uh, and by scaling, to, you mean the size? Yeah, to reduce the size. Because you see this device mm -hmm. doesn't look so nice here. You have to make something small to be part of it. To be part, to of, be the part of the phone. Mm -hmm. Such that Which when I do this, I don't even see these wires. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's something that you're still developing. Yeah. All right. And uh, like I mentioned, we normally ask whether it's a hit or a miss. Do let me know. Uh, but I'm thinking this one definitely is a hit. You also have a highway here and a car. What is that all about? So you see, before, before I introduce this one, the government is using a lot of money to set up power plants. Like I read, I read it somewhere, 100 families are going to be displaced at Holkaria mm -hmm. to, to build another carrier station. Mm -hmm. So why, why is the government doing that, yet we have highways which we can generate uh, enough energy? So this device here shows a green way of developing energy using the already existing structure, mm -hmm. like the, the roads, thicker superhighway. We can use thicker superhighway to generate enough energy to power the shops along the thicker highway and also street lights in Nairobi. And the, and the county government will pay zero shillings because that is, the cars are there, the pressure is there. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this one. You're talking about generating the energy, and this is electrical energy from a road. Yeah, from a road. And of course, the traffic in Nairobi is very, very, not even in Nairobi, in Kenya. I was in yeah. Meru not too long ago, and it's amazing that there's actually a lot of traffic yeah. in that country. But go ahead. So this one. Uh, I'm using the piezo, piezo material. These are crystals. When you deform them, they change, they, they, they change in a way that they give you the electrical energy. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what will deform them? Looking at the, the way highways are made, mm -hmm. the only thing we have there is pressure exerted by the vehicle tires. Mm -hmm. So I'm using that pressure to get that energy. And also, this piezo material, they are waterproof. What material? Piezo. Piezo. Material. What yeah. is piezo? The is it what they use to make roads? No. Mm -hmm. This is the new crystal that I'm, use, I'm introducing. That you would you, you'd use here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this pressure, when, you, when it is exerted, I'm getting the energy. The advantage, it's waterproof. So you don't need to build a shed all the way to mm -hmm. thicker. Another thing, you don't need to place them all the way to thicker. Just some points. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you can... Interval at an interval, let's say seven kilometers, seven kilometers. Mm -hmm. So the energy level. The, the more you place, does that mean the more energy? The more you get? energy. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, looking at Tika Super Highway from from Globe Cinema Roundabout to Kenyatta University, I was I was getting around ten megawatts of power when I when I do my calculation mm -hmm. using this device. So, this is just a demo. Okay. This is a car. Mm -hmm. So the energy, the, the energy will be generated when the car press on the crystal. Okay, but now we moving. need to store that energy. Mm -hmm. yeah. The energy we get, we store, because not all the time we'll have vehicles on the road. So we store the energy in a battery, then we convert it to AC to be comp compatible with the devices. That and we the use on bulb. a daily basis. Yeah. Okay. So to demonstrate, mm -hmm. this, uh, this is a car, mm -hmm. this is a section of the road, mm -hmm. so uh, you can see. And I don't know, maybe we can zoom, oh, okay. You can see mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's lighting. That right. is now this car is pressing 
on the piezo material, and I'm getting the electrical energy. So you can see. So wow. the, more, the more vehicles are passing here, the county government will not have to pay the electricity, Kenya Power Electricity Bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because so, mm -hmm. using the LED technology, mm -hmm. you'll consume less energy on, on street lights. OK. Yeah. Now, question would be, uh, maybe just give me that road. Uh, just put it on top here so that we, we'll have that. I just want to make sure that you don't have any power yourself. I'm just proving that it works, and it does. Uh, now, question is, once you've generated this energy from the car, yeah. how do you, where do you store it, and how do you move it from here to whatever storage facility so that you can now distribute it? That one is, how, how more technology has that system, all that system, whereby you, you get the energy, you store it in a special batteries, then you convert it to, to AC. You know, many, many things, many electrical devices work on AC. So I have to convert it to AC. Mm -hmm. So I need inverter, powerful inverters, mm -hmm. And also powerful batteries which can store energy. Store for a that long time. energy. But of course, you don't need a, even need to store this energy for a long time because there's no highway without vehicles. Mm. Yeah. Now the crystals that you talked about earlier on that are the ones that are creating the energy. And how, first of all, where do you get them from? What's the source? Where, where, where are you harvesting them from? And this how affordable one, are they? They are very much affordable. They are very they are very much found in Germany. Yeah. So you'd have to import? Yeah. Okay. And they are cheap compared to setting up an old carrier, setting up, a, building a dam. Yeah. The mm -hmm. government will use less money than setting up an So this plant. is a technology that you'd have to sell the idea to the government, then they implement it. It's not something you can implement as an engineer, then sell it to the government. Yeah. I was invited in State House. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Denis Itumbi. I was invited and I demonstrated the, the innovation to the PS, Engineer Njoroge, PS Energy, mm. and he was happy about it. But one thing with the government, they are very slow. And if I'm, I'm telling the government now, if you are that, slow. That, that, that's your camera, camera right there, that, that one right there. Talk to the government. You see government, this? listen. You see this innovation? Yeah. If you don't hurry up, tell them. I don't mind taking it to another country. Yeah. And now in time, when you say they need to hurry up, what is it that they need to do? What is it that you're waiting for? Implementation. You see the bureaucracy in government. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of process, many process. They have to process, I don't know what. But I don't mind, as long as I, I see my dream coming true. I, I, even if it's Uganda, Nigeria, China. No well, what exactly is uh, stopping, or rather, uh, what is it that you're facing as a challenge in terms of having this implemented? If the PS liked it and uh, you're in uh, communication with them, what, what do you think has stopped it from being adopted? Okay, you see, the problem, I don't know what, what is happening because I, I have all the details concerning this. I, I, can, I have all the cost for piezo material. I can give them all the quotation, everything. They can import the, the piezo. We can have a lane, just a lane. The like the, when I was still in the University of Nairobi, there's this road that links Chiromo, Chiromo to main campus. The VC wanted we do a demo in that road. But now you see that road is only for students, no, no vehicles, only buses, a few buses. So it was not, it was a not good, practical. Uh, yeah, it was not a good place to get exact what mm -hmm. we can, what we can, we, we can see. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what I wanted from the government was to, to do a, a demo, not even a demo, we were to do a trial in one of the, uh, uh, one of the lane or just a road, mm -hmm. let's a busy say road. three kilometer. From there, mm -hmm. we, we will have the energy. Mm -hmm that from that three kilometer. And then we approximate now, we go national. Okay. Nakuru, Nairobi. Okay, I'm, I'm almost Nakuru trying to understand how yeah. this will be implemented. In terms of infrastructure, what is it that you need uh, to have this power move from the road? First of all, how are you going to put the crystals on the road? Are they just going to be thrown on the road? Uh, do you have points where you, you know, you know they're, they're, they're under a metal thing? How do you do that? 
So I'll, I'll put the crystals at an interval. Mm -hmm. It's not the old road. Sorry? At intervals, mm -hmm. yeah. OK, uh, let me just get a hold of this road and just see if there's, oh, there's, there's a battery under there. Yeah. So, so how, where would you put the crystals? At intervals. Let's say if, if, if we're taking Tika Road, for example, mm -hmm. you don't need to put crystal all the way to Tika. Mm -hmm. You can put crystal from at Globe Cinema Roundabout, then next at All Soaps, then next, like, just like that, Gidurai, like that. Then this energy, mm -hmm. you, you will have a, all of it, store in battery, then convert it to electrical, to AC, mm -hmm. and now you power the street light. And that's the part I'm trying to understand uh, mm -hmm. in terms of infrastructure. You would need to build maybe like cabling that comes from the road yeah. to store this into batteries somewhere. How are you going to do that? Okay, looking at... And what uh, does it require? I'll need Kenha, Kenya National Highway Authority, mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so because you're in negotiations with them? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, so what challenges are we likely to see? And I've seen that this device has a battery at the bottom. Is this the yeah. battery now that would store the energy? Yeah, this is the battery. This is a demo of battery that store the energy. Mm -hmm. That w when, when we don't have the, car, the vehicles, it will, it will light the... Let's say if this, if this rod mm -hmm. it doesn't have any car mm -hmm. and, we need, and it's night, night time, mm -hmm. So this battery will have the energy stored by the, by the initial cars mm -hmm. that it will light there. Oh, so that it can light that. And just yeah. to show you this, this is a demo of uh, a road, as he is proposing, Thika Superhighway, basically brought to the studio. Uh, these are street lights, I guess. Uh, yeah. And behind, we have the battery that would eventually uh, store the energy and give us lighting. How much energy do you think then the roads would produce? And break it down for us to a point where we can understand in terms of what would it light? Can it light all the houses on Thika Road? Is it just maybe for street lighting? How much energy are we talking about here? Okay, depending, depending on the energy consumption, mm -hmm. let's say along Thika Superhighway, we don't have industries, heavy consumer of electricity. So it can light up all the homes along, because th these are small consumer, uh, consumer energy. Mm -hmm. So this one will be perfect. But when it comes to industries, I think we'll have to build a powerful system. We'll have to put the piezo material all the way to thicker mm -hmm. to support, to get that full energy okay. run the system for the industries. All right. Yeah. You seem to have some great ideas, Amor Technologies. What is the plan for Amor Technologies, given that you already have a very wonderful device here, you have another one there. However, they're good ideas. How are you going to translate these into actual uh, projects that can be, uh, you know, uh, taken advantage of? Okay. First, you, you, first of all, Amor Technologies. I started it when I was still at uh, university. Amo Technologies deals with engineering projects, innovation, technological advancements. So looking at Amo Technology, we, 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 are, we, are, we are just looking at everything to do with the technology. So we, are, we want to transform Kenya and the world. Because when I, when I formed Amo Technologies, I wanted to change the world, not Kenya. Looking at Bill Gates, looking at Steve Jobs, the, the success they did and the innovation they did. So I was asking myself, what have I done with my life to make sure I reach their level? Even the small things I do, if I can change the world. So Amo Technologies is there to change the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, and do you see yourself as uh, the Kenyan uh, Steve Jobs? And yeah, not yet there, but... <laughs> Getting there. Yeah. All right, and, and, and where do you see yourself in terms of technology? These are two devices that maybe you've worked on and they seem brilliant. Are there other things you're working on? Yeah, I have the third device, but that one is still, is still in the development stage. Mm -hmm. You see, when you, go to, when you go to the market, when you go to church, when, when people are singing, when you go, when you, when you, okipanda piki piki. Mm -hmm. Boda boda. Yeah, boda boda. What is so common? There's Out that of all those. Sound. There's that sound. The, the noise. Yeah, the noise. Mm -hmm. So 
the device that I'm about to launch soon mm. is a device that is taking advantage of the noise. So, and, and hopefully you're not saying people in church just make noise, but they sing. No. But anyway, I get the, the, the point. Sound. The <laughs> yeah, sound. Yeah, the sound. <laughs> so the, my, my device, my next device uses this sound. You know sound is a form of energy. Mm. So I'm, use, I'm converting sound to electrical energy. And that one will just work the same way as this outer run device. Because the energy I get from the noise will just for charging phone and maybe powering, let's say, powering just systems in the house yeah how will you uh, get that noise and you know put it together into energy you see because noise is just out there yeah but it has a my system has a wide range of frequency of noise you know noise has a frequency so my device will 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 because it has a wide range just like this piece of material from vids to to a, a trailer. To whatever 4x4 four four, the a trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So the same to that device. From small noise to loud, it gets the energy. Yeah. But how do you harness that energy? So I'm using uh, my, my technology. And hopefully it's not giving away or letting the cat out of the bag before time. No. Or somebody could uh, you know, steal the idea. Yeah, I'm using my, my own technology to harness the noise to harness the energy from the noise. And I did a test, it's, 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 it's working. It's working. Yeah. So what does that noise do exactly? So you see when you're talking, there's vibration, the vocal cord, mm. the vi vibration. Mm. So my system work on the principle of vibration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like motorbike, when you hear the sound of motorbike, you can hear the vibration. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm using the principle of vibration mm -hmm. to get the energy. And now that energy is that converted the system to is what, electrical so, energy? Yeah, the system is so sensitive to any vibration mm -hmm. caused by the sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then that, of course, you'll have to again look for batteries and a storage, way, uh, somewhere, uh, somehow to store it. Yeah, it, it can be stored or it can be used yeah, instantly. Mm -hmm. When you generate, you use it. Yeah. Okay. Now, there's a question coming in, and somebody is asking how you're planning to have this commercialized. How are you going to make this? How are you going to make money out of this? This one, I, I'll, Amo Technology will deal with the device. Mm -hmm. you, you will get the device either. I, I'll have two approach. Mm -hmm. You can have an inbuilt device whereby I dismantle your phone and I put it inside, then I, I screw it. Okay. Or you can buy a cover, just like, assist me, this one. Mm -hmm. Looking at this one, mm -hmm. this cover, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, actually, this is a cover that I, I oh, okay. You see this, mm -hmm. this cover, mm -hmm. I can sell this cover with the device. Yeah. The charging if, device. Yeah, depending on what, what you want. Mm -hmm. If you want an inbuilt, I can fix the device inside. Mm -hmm. But that one will be after I scale the device to a, a small size. But you see, looking at mobile phone, Inside the mobile phone, we have so, so much space. That's why Apple, Apple decided to remove the, the 3.5 jack, millimeter jack, because it was consuming so much space. And looking, we only have a circuit and screen mm -hmm. and a battery. Okay. Then we have some parts which are, which are not having just a space. So I'll use that space All right. to fix my device. Baba Sonia is asking a question. And uh, the question is, uh, he says, well, let me just read it. He says, uh, George is a great innovator. Explain how power can be tapped, the wiring and all. And that's what I was asking about the infrastructure. This power that we're getting from the highway, how are you getting it to the batteries? Because I'm thinking in terms of it's so much power. How do you move it from the road to the batteries, from the batteries to the consumer? Yeah, okay. The power I'm getting from the road is in, in, in a DC form, direct current. Mm -hmm. Direct current doesn't have effects like shocks. Yeah. So that one you can tap it using thick wires mm -hmm. to, the bat to the charging system of the battery. Okay. Once it is in the charging system of the battery, mm -hmm. the charging system will... Now check, we'll check the, the incoming power and check the battery power, the, the battery voltage, the incoming voltage and the battery voltage. Once the battery voltage has dropped, it will release the power, the, the voltage to charge the battery. Mm -hmm. So that one will be just be, beside the rods. You will see like the cameras, you see the cameras, 
the fitted cameras on the beside the road. So it will just the same structure. So we'll have a charging point and a battery. Charging point and a battery. Then after conversion to AC, it can we can build a we, we can have like a, a an overhead of something. an overhead transmission or we can use an underground transmission. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's also a question here: average cost and uh, power produced per kilometer. And again, this of course is addressing the fact that it might be a brilliant idea, but how mm -hmm. affordable is it? Would I be changing from the national grid to use this? How affordable is it, and how much power is produced per kilometer? Okay, uh, from Globes you know, around about to Kenyatta University. It's around 37 kilometers, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. I was getting 10 megawatts of power. But that one, that was after doing my calculations, mm -hmm. using the piece of material. But now that one will come, per kilometer now, that one will come after we did a test. Yeah. And but to contextualize at, it, how looking, much, what can that power? Is that two houses, five houses, two bedroomed houses? What, what, what exactly does that power translate to? Mm, it, can, it can supply a, a whole house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For one kilometer, one kilometer is, is not enough power to, to power, to to power, power like a whole house. Like, and we're talking about powering everything like from television houses. to fridge yeah. uh, to ironing to your heater, your water boiler. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And cost? Have you worked out the cost yet? Yeah, the cost, How much now the, the consumer would be paying? The, the cost I worked out will not, will not rhyme with one kilometer. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I was comparing, setting up, building a dam. And building and this. Building this. Mm -hmm. And also 100 family being displaced at Olkaria to build an, an, another steam power plant. Mm -hmm. So I was comparing that. Looking at the government quotation, they are talking of billions to do that. Billions, billions. But mm -hmm. mine will be in the range of millions, not billions. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's also a question here from Evelyn, and the question is, uh, that brilliant idea patented, number one, company complement, uh, I mean, technology, how, how, how is it commercialized? Okay, so is it uh, patented and secondly, complement? Mm -hmm. yeah, this one is copyrighted. It's copyrighted. Yeah. Okay. Uh, meaning nobody else can use that technology as it yeah, is. Yeah. Okay. What about uh, commercializing? Have you commercialized it? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the process of commercializing it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's also a question here from Duncan, uh, who is saying, brilliant idea. How soon do you think you'll have this, uh, the, the telephone charger uh, ready Next for the year. market? Next year. Next year. From What's stopping you from having it ready tomorrow? I'm sure you'd have many buyers almost immediately. No, but uh, I, I set my target to next year from 20th January. From 20th January? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, brilliant. And uh, maybe just uh, your closing comments and summary of uh, what we should look forward to in terms of technology from Amur Technologies. Okay. Where's my camera? It's that one right there, I think. Okay. Um, in Kenya, we have so many innovators, brilliant ideas. M-Pesa, looking at M-Pesa, which is raising so much concern in the world. So, like right now, I, I am the Secretary General for Innovator Society of Kenya. We have around 40 innovators, and we have a WhatsApp group, and we share our grievances. But government, this goes to the government, appreciate your innovators. Once you do that, don't come later on saying that that was a Kenyan. I wish I did this and this. It's now or never, yeah. Because innovation, the world is changing. I won't wait for ministry for four months, three months for ministry to do this and this. Yet, these are something that is urgent, that needs to be practiced so that the, the whole world will follow the suit. Because looking at the smart highway, Kenya would have been the first country to embrace this. In Germany, you are being paid to use electricity. But why, why, why in Kenya? We, in Kenya, we can also have green energy, whereby you pay less. You pay less to use energy. Mm. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, George Ouma, who is the founder of Amo Technologies with some brilliant technology. The more you dial on your phone, 
I was trying to get it to open up here. Uh, the more you dial on your phone, the more it charges. He's also developed uh, technology that can ensure that as we drive, and of course traffic is, okay, yeah, traffic is uh, something that is major uh, in this country. And uh, the more you drive, the more it uh, continues to charge. Well, that's where we're going to wind up our show this morning. And uh, let me see if we have any responses on Twitter regarding our earlier question where we were asking uh, your comments basically on uh, uh, the ICC conversation propping up. And uh, let me see if we can fetch out a few. Um, yes, somebody here says there's no problem uh, with the ICC coming up. It is a necessary debate. Thank you very much. That's uh, Andrew. We also have uh, Karanja James who says, though at times we the citizens abuse it instead of maximizing on it. I think that's a different subject. Anyway, uh, this is where we'll have to wind up the show. Thank you so very much for joining us this morning. Do stay with us right here on KTN News. We've got Worldview coming up in just a bit. But from Morning Express, we wish you all a fantastic, a wonderful, and a productive day.